Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the Futures Market Outlook uh, for the week of uh, June 9th, 2019. Let's get started with the mini Dow. Impressive move uh, throughout this week in all the indices, uh, where Dow has gained over, over 1,400 points. Um, after a very sideways, I would say very much sideways um, um, quarter here that we had. So we're actually trying to uh, stay into the highs of March right now. So as you can see here, so 26,000 represents that core that we have been coiling around throughout this quarter. Uh, we have the move to the downside and a retest of the 25,000 and we're trading back up into the 26,029. So throughout this weekend, we did have some news. Uh, so there has been a decision made in regards to uh, the Mexican tariffs and uh, um, I believe that tonight we will probably see a gap up in the futures uh, indices. All right, so let's get started with our technicals. Monthly chart, you can see that we're, we have erased 75% of the down move from May. So we're trading right here in the 26.029. This is where the price has closed on Friday. And we're trading in this upper side of last year october november so we're trading back into the highs of december we have regained the strength and we're trading back into that area again let's take it a step back to the weekly we had the pullback buy off of this level and again these levels are quite wide uh for for these uh reversals but uh, once we triggered over 25,800, we started to push higher and uh, we managed to get above and close above last week, uh, above 26,000. Very impressive move. As you could see, the uh, the support level was, uh, was, was actually retested, was actually a retest of the October, uh, November, and December cluster. We have reversed from this point and we're push, pushing, uh, definitely we're pushing higher. We actually have balance, so this low right here, uh, we've balanced off the 89 simple moving average and pushed forward. And now we're trading back into resistance into the 26,000. Still further uh, room for progression higher, at least into the 26,200 and 26,220. Let's take it a step down to the daily chart. The daily chart has uh, traded over the resistance uh, into the 26,000. We managed to break above that. We actually had a peekaboo on Friday, peekaboo high. Uh, we managed to create this high into the 26,085. We pulled back ever so slightly, but we did manage to close into a range. So this is very conducive for a pop higher. So I do expect another gap up going into uh, uh, going into Sunday due to the fact that we have reached an agreement with Mexico. So don't forget that uh, China is still ongoing. Most likely uh, it will, most likely, we'll see if they're going to be reaching a decision after the G20 meeting. So further projection for this week we anticipate a continuation of the very bullish move there are a lot of uh, uh economic releases that will be out this week so we're gonna have uh you know we're gonna have to be very careful and trade uh accordingly and trade around those uh those uh releases uh but we did i do see further continuation higher at least into the 26 to 75 level uh, and uh, above that level, we'd still have room to the 26, 450 level. So definitely um, move to progress to the upside. What we see on the charts is definitely a very strong trend. You can see that we have been riding uh, the 20 SMA train onto the one hour charts. And in fact, on the smaller time frame charts, if you look on the 15 minute, we have uh, aggressively followed the 10 exponential moving average. And this is actually for day traders. 
Okay, so let's go back to the daily chart. Like I said, we do have further continuation. Hot, we can expect further continuation higher uh, to the 250 to 200 uh, to 300 level, and then further continuation into the 400. So very nice charts. Uh, on um, on a pullback, in case we get a pullback. Uh, I am looking for the 25,800 to 25,900 area to hold. But as of right now, so uh, we had, you could see here, we had one, two, three, four, five really strong days to the upside. Obviously, a pullback can be expected because we're trading into resistance right here. But there's still room, and we're going to be following smaller time frames for that. That that's going to be our first indication whether the momentum is going to slow down or if it's really going to blast higher. Now, remember what happened uh, uh, early um, um, early January. So after we had the initial push uh, into the last week of uh, into the last week of December, we had pulled back and then we started this monster rally that continued actually all the way into these highs into the uh, into the end of February and then we remained sideways. This is nothing else but a sideways price action. Uh, and you could see here that we have been coiling around this 200 simple moving average. So this is still a very bullish move, nothing indicative of a further uh, pullback. All right, let's continue with the mini S&P and we're going to zoom out to the monthly chart. As you can see right here, we're trading back into the highs of, uh, of 2018 uh, right here into January, actually January, 2000, um, uh, January 2018. So we have been very strong. We're, we have actually closed into this level right here. And the more we stay here, the more we digest here and we do have some um, indications that uh, based on the hourly charts and based on the 30 minute charts uh, we are uh, bullishly consolidating at the highs so uh, at Friday's highs this may be a strong indication that the momentum may continue at least in the first two days uh, going into uh, the new trading week uh, and still room for progression higher with the first target, with a, with a target for the continuation of this pattern back into uh, the 2850 and into these high, uh, 2950 and 2960, these highs right here. Uh, from the daily chart, again, you can see the very strong push to the upside back into resistance right here. We see the peekaboo high above the 50 simple moving average and also into the resistance that is deriving from uh, March 22nd, from this high right here. But you could even see it on the daily chart that we have progressively moved up and then try to coil and hold around this 200 simple moving average. This is a very, very strong move in the market. And in fact, we can see, uh, we can see the patterns that are holding on the weekly charts and the daily charts. There's nothing weak about this pattern. So further continuation higher, at least into the 2900. Um, for the first uh, couple of days of this week. All right, so let's take it a step down. Uh, again, this consolidation right here is indicative of a possible breakout, and I think that most likely we're gonna possibly get a uh, possibly get a gap up. Uh, let's take a look into uh, Sunday and see how the price is because this may actually propel it higher. And if we trade, I'm gonna go back towards the daily. Uh, if we trade above 2,900, this is definitely gonna, going to be the go-ahead for further progression higher into the 2,450. So this is totally possible for this upcoming week. All right, let's move on to NASDAQ. NASDAQ, uh, as you know, um, has been a relative weak index. I'm going to zoom out to the monthly chart. So the monthly chart uh, pulled back bar throughout the month of, uh, month of May. Uh, and very nice retest off the 7,000 level, including the 20 simple moving average and a push back up. So uh, indicative of a continuation higher, uh, nice pullback off the 20 SMA, respecting the 20 SMA train, and it's getting back on the 20 SMA train. And before we move to another time frame, I just want to mention the fact that 20 the, the follow of the 20 SMA is a, a healthy 
uh, it's a healthy pullback for uh, for price. So uh, here we got a little bit more extended. Look at the error that we had to the 20 SMA volatility kicked in, and this was uh, uh, this was in um, uh, 2018. Volatility kicked in again, and then <coughs> excuse me, and then we continued higher. All right, let's move on again to the weekly chart. Weekly chart uh, finally. Uh, uh, finally triggered the weekly buy. So we had one, two, three, four candle, four candle pullback uh, into that support level that I mentioned on the monthly chart right here into the 7,000. And then we have uh, uh, reversed back up, trading above this prior high into the 75 level and then uh, reaching this 10 exponential moving average. There is some considerable amount of resistance here that is deriving from this small cluster low from uh, from last year, from September, uh, from September. And then this is going to represent, this mini cluster right here is gonna represent the turbulent zone for further advancement into NASDAQ. However, if we're gonna get a, a, a strong push, like I said, if we can see a gap up and the price confirming that it is ready to participate higher, I don't think we're gonna have any issue uh, achieving higher targets and dissolving this cluster of resistance that we have to the left hand side the daily chart still has room for progression higher and the first target is going to be this confluence zone into the 7535 so we still have room to the 7535 and into the 7600 as a cluster of resistance those resistance bands are probably going to slow down the momentum as we're achieving this area we're not trading in a climactic environment just yet. You know, I don't know if the price is going to accelerate and it's going to reach a climactic environment, but so far we don't have that environment, so we can still expect a continuation higher. From the hourly chart, you can see that all of the indices are pretty much balancing out, and it was a very boring uh, a Friday afternoon where the price literally did nothing. So we had the acceleration higher, and in fact, the uh this is what we had here so first off we had and it was an incredible volatile week again uh we did have uh, a lot of announcements uh that came in we had some bad bad job job numbers that came in and then we had again uh some news that uh forced the market higher and then now we're trading at the highs and again through the weekend we did have some news again with uh, with mexico and probably the market is going to get up again so again uh we have to uh, uh, uh trading this market trading the 2018 and the 2019 market is uh, uh i find a very close similarity to surfing so you really have to be uh, to, to you really have to catch the wave to do that all right so let's move on to our last index which is rty this is russell russell has been sideways for some time and in fact we're going to take it a way back to the monthly chart uh it has been a little bit weaker than all these indices so monthly chart you can see that the price is still trading uh below uh the 10 exponential moving average from the weekly perspective it is the only index that has not moved beyond last uh, prior week's high so uh we finish off with this week still super strong and now we need to see the price trade over 1522 i have an alert here at 24 because i had a last week because i had all these alerts into the dow into the smp into nasdaq uh at these weekly uh rotations and i had it obviously russell so uh too but russell never triggered that weekly rotation so most likely that we're probably uh try we're gonna be trying to attempt to break this uh to break this high and uh, advance but here's the thing the advancement in russell is gonna be into a very turbulent zone all the way into the 74 so uh, it's it's uh, gonna have some issues when it's gonna reach into the 40s to 50s. 40 to 50 is gonna be turbulent again. But if we have that catalyst that can push the price and uh, erase all that turbulence, then the price may see an easier progression back into the 16 uh, 1600 again. Let's take it to the daily chart. Daily chart, very shallow pullback buy right here. Uh, we have one two bars up. Now remember that all the indices had 
pretty much a parabolic move up and we had five days continuous five five days of continuous new highs where uh russell had monday tuesday up uh wednesday thursday it remained within pretty much into the same range just tested a bit new low here into thursday and then it triggered a daily buy but the daily buy came into a heavy area of resistance into the uh, 1515 to 1518. The fact that it was still hovering at the high means that the price is really trying to digest those highs and trade above those. So that is a good sign that the price is uh, actually fighting all the turbulences that it has in its way. From the hourly chart, you could definitely see the sideways price action within the last three trading days. Finally, on Friday, we made a new high for the week, and this is very constructive uh, for the index because it's trying to get in line with the Dow, with the S&P, and with NASDAQ. And we definitely can see a further continuation higher. So uh, 1545 to 1550, it has room for that. So at least another, uh, at least another 20 to 30 points uh, into a tradable void. Again, it's going to be a little rough. It's going to have some resistant currents, but I think it uh, by synchronicity with all the indices, I think it's going to follow through. We'll see. All right, let's move that. Uh, let's move right now to gold. Uh, and in fact, I we did comment on gold um, last week, uh, and uh, we did mention that last weekend that we before that, and we were looking at this pullback buy scenario. I'll also mentioned the fact that gold is still into an uptrend let me uh let me um just do uh just zoom in a little bit so look at the chart look at the progression of the chart so we moved up and this is a pullback and consolidation uh so over um over the over these highs right here into the uh, 1373 gold may start rallying hard all the way to 1500 perhaps 1600 so it had uh it, and this space has been going on for a very long time so uh the topping effect happened in 2000 uh in 2011 and then we pulled back in 2012 and 13 and from 2013 till now we have been sideways so we haven't had any kind of progression so that's a long period of time here uh, but we did not uh, actually trigger a downtrend. We have never triggered a downtrend. Uh, the momentum has shifted again. Uh, you can see that the price is trading well above all the moving averages once again, and it's gaining some strength. And for the first time in a very long time, it's gaining some territory here. So you can see that the last time when uh, basically we were trading above the moving averages, was uh, at the beginning of 2018 and then we slipped below and uh, now we're regaining that territory so very strong move i also mentioned last week let me go back to uh, i also mentioned last week that this can be a buy over uh, over this prior high into the 15 and right now we're trading into the 1344 level all right daily chart oops Sorry, I wanted to move to the weekly chart right here. All right, so you can see this is the second week that we had a very strong move to the upside and achieving actually resistance right here. So we're trading into the 1350, 1350, huge area of resistance. But we had a very nice progression throughout the week all the way from 1311 to the 1350 level. 1350 is huge, 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 huge resistance level. So uh, if you're wondering, does it still have room to progress higher? Does it, uh, do we have another entry opportunity if you have not, um, if you have not traded uh, this reversal that we've mentioned into last week? Um, well, let's go back to the hourly chart. The hourly chart, and I think that we can take this uh, one one small step at a time. I don't see another uh, re-entry as of right now. So if you're not long, you should definitely have to wait for um, for a correction uh, or wait at least. I would wait for a four hour. To me, it makes more sense to wait for a little bit higher time frame that may be in sync with uh, with the bigger time frames here. All right, let's uh, give it a little bit more time here. Uh, let's go to the 90. Okay. All right. So it, as as part of, uh, let me just take this alert. Okay. As part of this move right here, you could see that we definitely had 
uh, oh, we had accomplished this prior pivot high into resistance, right? So the next area of support becomes into the 13, 13, 1330. So if we should have a pullback into the 1330, that may be a watch area for a further consolidation at that point and a, uh, and a rotation that may take the price higher. If not, we can actually retest the uh, 1325 level. So watch these two levels as we're moving into next week. Uh, for a further continuation higher. I think that, and if you're looking at the daily chart, okay, let me just zoom in a little bit. You can see that we had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven acceleration days to the upside. When was the last time we had that? We did, really didn't have a lot going on uh, into, into gold. So we never had a rally like that. We had one, two, three, four days uh, here. Uh, but this is nothing. So we do have a little bit of symmetry, but this is a, a bit more uh, aggressive to the upside. All right, some some top watches uh, that are appealing to me um, for um, for this uh, for this upcoming week. I like the fact that copper. Um, and again, I'm not expecting anything major from copper uh, because I think that copper is very strong correlated with China, but I'm gonna try to leave the narrative aside and try to focus on technicals because this is what we need to do to be doing as technical traders. I think this is a very important area on the weekly chart that it had retraced. And uh, uh, as I look at it and as, time proved every single time when it achieved this 260 level uh it actually uh started to bounce so i really like this 260 area and in fact i do have an alert here at 2.675 and i think that if we're going to try to break above this prior pivot high we may enter into a buy scenario right here it's not going to be anything major but i'm going to be looking for uh 275 I'm gonna be looking for 280 and possibly 285. Uh, these are the targets that I'm looking for. But again, I need to have a lot more proof. I need to see. I need to see the price rooted very well here into the 60s. Hold this area, and I want to see the price trigger above the 2.675 area. Also, onto the monthly chart, we're gonna step. Uh, we're gonna step out a little bit for uh, into time and you could see the strong consolidation that we had here in 2018 we had the breakout here this is this was very conducive for a progression higher however we talked into the Dow and into s p that was and in actually into Nasdaq that was running into this uh, resistance as well this is minor resistance and in fact, uh, a lot of traders don't know that minor areas of resistance are way stronger than major areas of resistance. So uh, that's why the price got rejected into this area, came back down and retested the 260 again. And now we need to see if it uh, if it will reach a decision at this point. So this is something that I'm going to be watching. A lot of requests I'm getting for uh, from bonds. Uh, bonds are uh, back into resistance. And uh, in fact, they are setting up on the daily, I'm gonna go to that time frame in just a second, a very bullish setup. So uh, we're trading into resistance, 155 is resistance from this cluster high, but also from this cluster high uh, from back here into, uh, into 2012. So this whole entire area scenario is definitely, uh, is definitely uh, uh, strong right here and it can, uh, pull back uh, price. So again, monthly chart, achieving resistance right here, achieving target right into resistance. Uh, I would say it, it may be getting ready for a pullback, but we have some contradicting elements. First off, we have this chop box right here to the left-hand side. This is prior to uh, 2019. This is coming from 2018, from the whole entire spring. Uh, uh, summer, fall, you can see it right here. And then we pulled back further into 2019 and then we regained the territory. Notice here that the momentum has not slowed, uh, slowed down. In fact, we pushed through this uh, uh, 200 simple moving average. We tapped onto the resistance. We pulled back ever so slightly and we found support into that 200 simple moving average. So 
This is telling me that if the price is going to hold this 153, it may have further continuation higher, at least into these highs in, of 157, okay? So going to the daily chart right here, this is a very strong pullback and buy scenario. This is actually a bull flag. Oh, we got a little bit of air, we came in, we filled up that void and we're getting ready for a progression higher. 155 level is gonna be an area of interest and also 153 but because this may represent the breakout and the support zone is 153 that can be used as your stop. All right, uh, one more chart, and this is by request. This is uh, for natural gas, and we're going to zoom out onto the monthly chart. Natural gas has, uh, 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 actually, nat I was looking at the support level right here. Uh, so natural gas broke the 250 level and has started entering into a much steeper correction. The next support level that we have uh, is actually back into these lows and back into this prior low right here. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to see if we have any other alternate support level right here. And we here we are into the 78.6 level. So let's watch it this week. I think that if we hold this level, we may be able to reverse off of this uh, off of this area. If not, uh, we have a much wider tradable void with first target into the 1.94 and then continuation into the 1.6611, uh, as you can see right here. Uh, this is all for now. Thanks so much for tuning in and listening to our market bias. If you're interested in learning more about um, Trade Out Loud, you can visit our website. It is tradeoutloud.com. And also we have a brand new trading future, power income futures trading class that is starting next week on June 17th. It is a five day a comprehensive class. We will teach you how to trade futures. We will teach you technical analysis. We will teach you setups. In fact, we do have a, uh, about 10 setups that we're gonna be, 10 strategies, I'm sorry, 10 strategies that we're gonna be teaching you uh, how to trade. Uh, and if you're interested on that class, um, in the class, uh, re let me remind you that the date deadline to register for the class is going to be this Thursday at noon. Uh, and basically there are only four, almost four days left to registration. Uh, if you want to join our trading room, also all the information and including the portfolio is on our website, tradeout.com. Feel free to click on uh, the tabs there. And if you have any further questions, you can email us. My team will be very happy to answer. And also, if you want to, uh, if you want to discuss more about the class and your trading objectives, you can uh, call our number. I'm personally going to be speaking with you. So thank you so much, guys. Have a wonderful, profitable trading week ahead. Until next week. Have a great week.